Welcome to our latest video, where we explore the innovative tagging features of OneNote. We're grateful for your support, which is crucial to our growth. If you enjoy our content, please like this video and subscribe for more valuable insights. Your active participation enables us to continue delivering top-notch productivity strategies. Thank you for being an integral member of our community. In this module, I want to have a focus on the tags feature in OneNote. It's on the home tab of the ribbon. In the middle there, you've got the tags feature where you've got a series of tags that you can use to flag up things for yourself. So the to-do one at the top there is the most common one. So if I click on that, and then I'll just type my, my similar sort of list as I've been doing. So if I just type phase one, phase two, phase three, etc., you see the tag marker automatically coming down went down one too far the idea is that you can tick these and it will indicate that it's been completed you've also got it there to do if i click on that it's exactly the same i'll just type some narrative next to that so you've got the to do in both places there but in addition to that you've got all of these other symbols that you can utilize for a list. So if I click out of that container into another one and just pick one of these, let's go for project A, you'll see the difference. So it's colored up project A. So I'll call it project A. Now when you press enter, you don't get another box, which is slightly annoying. You have to keep clicking on that to get another box, project B. So for the to do options, it does give you that option. And if I go and get myself a different tag, I'll go for project B the different color project B but I'll call it project C on here so that's my little list there of tags now in there you've got all of these other ones and then down the bottom you've got the ability to create your own custom tags and most of these are, are the same as what's in there you've got a few extra things that you can select down the bottom here but what you can do is create a new tag or modify a current tag I'm going to create a new one so click on that I'll just call it Steve. And then you've got options here, symbols, font color, highlight color, etc. So if I go into symbols, you can see there's a whole array of different symbols that you can utilize and have meaning something. So this these tags would mean something to you. Whatever, whichever one you pick, you would just need to mean something. So I'll click on this little um, green star shape. There we go. That can be my new tag you can change the color if you want it's the font color so i'll need to be right in there next to it and i'll just click ok to that and see what happens here probably the wrong color but never mind so now my tags out are on there look so i'll click on that we'll call it steve in red not great steve again didn't come down same reason but i can click on that now I can go back and modify this if I if I'm not happy with the color of that, which to be honest I'm not. But that's how you can create your own tag. Now you've also got um, find tags here. If you click on that, it just opens up this tag summary list down this right hand side of the screen, where you can basically click on to the types of tag, uh, tags that you might have. So I've got this, and it's gone straight there. Look. And you can see how it's jumping to the relevant places. So that's on a different sheet. It's just jumped to that. If I go back to that one, the sheet that we was on, it's jumping around. So this is quite an impressive tool. And you can um, change the options at the top there to suit whatever you're looking for. Once you're happy with that, you can just knock that off and away it goes. So that's tags. And you get it on the home tab. And it sits in the middle there like so. So that's all I want to talk about in that little session.